How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Town of Salem 2. In this video we'll be going through the patch notes that got released today. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So they've added a new feature to the game. It's called the Ghost Town Modifier. Added Ghost Town Custom Modifier card. Ghost Town allows all dead players to vote still. Ghost votes are anonymous and the number of votes required when using this modifier now factors in the number of alive plus dead players in the game. Disconnected players do not count. I will for sure upload a video as soon as possible on this so we can all experience it together. But that is an interesting thing they've added. Improvements. Clarified admirer's care ability bypasses jail. So if you get jailed and the jailer tries to execute you, your admirer can save you. Clarified psychic feedback message to say at least one of the plays is good on good vision and at least one of the plays is evil on evil vision nights. That's good because some new players didn't really understand how it worked. Wildling roll card now says that they can read whispers. That's good. Clarified that the hex master must be alive to have the hex bomb go off unless reanimated by the necromancer. So something that a decent amount of people did not know, you can use the necromancer to reanimate the Hex Master, X the final person and get a clutch victory. Clarify that the Hex Bomb will kill all players. It is stronger than an unstoppable attack. That's another thing that a decent amount of people did not know. Sometimes when a neutral apocalypse roll transforms, people think that they're safe. Oh, you know, I'm invincible. The only thing that can kill me is getting lynched. No, you. if the Hex Bomb happens, you will still lose. It will cut to the end screen. So you're not... 100% safe if you're a neutral apocalypse. Improve the creator code so that if you put in a creator code to support a creator, purchases for seven days will be automatically attributed to that creator. Well, you guys heard the message, code Pipetron. <laughs> Retributionists will not be able to use stoned rolls anymore. Yeah, that's actually a good change. Retributionist was able to use stoned rolls, which is actually kind of nuts. So now Medusa properly counters the Retributionist. Neutral Apocalypse will now know when a teammate is dragged off to jail. That's a good change. Trader Jailer will not notify Coven teammates who they jail. That is an interesting change. I have not played Town Trader yet, so I'm curious to see how that one works. It's probably a nerf, actually, to the Coven. Executioner will not be forced to have themselves as an execution target anymore. It's actually kind of funny that that was even possible in the first place. I never saw it happen in game, but it's pretty funny. Admirer cannot propose once rapid mode starts. Pretty niche change because generally admirers are not going to be waiting that long to propose to someone. Rapid mode happens very late in the game. And yeah, I can see why they'd make this change because nighttime lasts for only like 15 seconds and the admirer animation probably lasts a little longer than that or it's super close. So yeah, good change. Rapid mode will only activate at the start of the day now. Good. Added some anti-hacking measures to prevent players from appearing in other players' houses at night and seeing them move around. Never actually saw this happen, but the idea of that sounds hilarious. Previous game results is now a dock item. Not sure what that means, but if you're interested in previous game results, I guess that would make you happy. Ghost Town and Rapid Keywords added. Cool. Updated search keyword to mention Apocalypse rolls. Cool. Updated Sheriff Roll Card to expand on what they can and cannot find. That's actually good because a lot of new plays didn't actually know. Chat Filter will now also show any mentions of the filtered player, including in Whispers. It's actually a pretty interesting change. I wonder how that one will look. Added additional types of chat entries when filtering on a person, including Whispers, Death Messages, Doom Messages, Vote, and Vote Outcomes to provide a more complete picture of the player's interaction in the game. You know what? This is actually a huge change, especially the vote and vote outcomes. There are so many players who don't bother following people's votes. Now the game kind of just gives it to you. So this should collectively make everyone play better. But I have to say, all the people who would take the extra effort to look at this type of stuff, it kind of gets neutralized now because everyone gets it. So I'm very curious to see how that one works. X eyes whispering TOY messages will now be highlighted in chat if a player number is mentioned. No idea what that means. Rebecca and build keywords added. No idea what that means. Is Rebecca a, a character? Bug fixes. Fixed an issue where the text typewriter sound would play during pick names phase. 
Okay, never really experienced that. Fixed bug where Hexmaster was not getting feedback if target had stronger defense. That's good. Fixed wilding targeting message. Yeah, that, that one's actually really good because as the wilding, you would say that you're attacking a player when you weren't if you didn't have the book. Fix some issues with Poisoner and Ritualist Coven feedback messages displaying things such as Nahum. Never really saw that. Fix the death mass kill cinematic sound. This actually did need to be fixed because I did notice some sounds were missing. Fix tip text in transition screen overlap in Pilgrim animation in some cases. Never seen it. Fix missing text shadows on chat log items and death note. Never really noticed that. Fixed an issue where pasting large amounts of mentions in last will, death note, or notepad could cause UI to freeze for a bit as the mentions were processed. That's kind of funny that that happened. Fixed missing placeholder text in notepad. Not sure what they're talking about there. Fixed problem with pasting in template to last will, death note, or notepad, and then subsequently trying to type causing overlapping text. Dude, yes! Yes! Does this mean I can finally copy paste? the numbers 1 to 15 without it breaking my notepad. It's been years. And finally, they fixed issue where stray HTML tags in last will death note or notepad would cause issues when trying to copy and paste a chat or auto post a chat and could prevent the last will or death note from saving correctly to the server. Never really noticed that, but I did hear that some people kind of, I don't know, saw some of that stuff going on. Overall, very good patch. I'm going to show you guys what the Ghost Town modifier is as soon as possible. Definitely have to see what the vote and vote outcome stuff. Like, this is insane. This right here is absolutely insane. The chat filter stuff. I'm very curious to see how that actually plays out. And I'm glad they fixed some of those bugs, especially the will bug. I, I know for a fact a lot of people are going to be happy about that one. There's two more things I want to add. The one thing that they really do need to change is there is a chat expansion bug where when you expand the chat it flicks up the chat and then you can't see what people are saying that for sure has to be fixed and another thing i don't know if it's a bug or a feature but not being able to see what a person's last will or death note is during the death sequence phase like when the game is showing off who's dead you can't go back and look at what someone's will is and it's kind of annoying because Sometimes you're too busy writing your will or you're whispering or you're looking at your notes or you're just doing something else and you miss the will. And then you don't get to go back and look at it. So you're just sitting there kind of doing nothing. And then day phase happens. But then during day phase, there could be new information or you're getting pushed or something's happening. And then you never really get a chance to look at the will because you missed it. So I hope they do add that into the death phase. But overall, this is a decent change. Use code Pipetron. Purchases for seven days will be automatically attributed to the creator. I do appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much, in all seriousness. And let me know what you guys think. Comment below. I will see you in the next one.